Hi guys! So tomorrow I leave to head to Florida for the icon of the seas and I'm so excited. We've had this cruise booked for whenever it opened in that October, so like almost two years, I guess a year and a half. Um, I cannot believe it's finally here. I am heading down to actually Disney first for a couple days because my birthday is on Friday. And then we board the Icon of the Seas on Saturday, March 23rd. So, so, so excited. Um, I haven't vlogged a cruise in a really long time. Took a little bit of a sabbatical from it. And now I am back. I want to test my new camera. Uh, I want to see how it is. I got a new one for this because I just knew I had to document this. I'm so excited for it. Um, but yeah, we are going to St. Kitts, St. Thomas. No, we're not. Yeah, we are. St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and Coco Cay, which I'm so excited about. So I thought might as well do like a pack with me kind of thing-ish. Um, I'm world-renowned overpacker, so I just thought I would talk a little bit about it. Overpack with you, share what I pack, how I think about packing for a cruise, and hopefully you learn something. Hopefully, if you don't, hopefully we just have fun while we chat. But I wanted to start with just some easy things that may not be on your packing list. Um, obviously we have clothes and stuff, but just start with maybe some helpful hints. So first, I don't keep looking at them, are these little like magnetic things uh, right there. They're really nice. They like can put on your door, on your walls, and they can just hold, we usually put like our like necklaces and stuff like that just so they're hanging. Um, you might be able to hang like a towel with these or something, but it's just nice to get things off the counters and off the floor and just hang them a little bit especially since the walls are magnetic you might as well use them we also decorate our rooms with these really nicely so you can attach like balloons string uh however you want to do it but they're really nice to have i have 10 of them which is a little excessive but you know you never know when you need those my next thing is this speaker right here um so it's just this little small one and my sister and i we really use it for more like getting ready um, and you know, just to have some music like when I was in the shower or anything, but we also will take it to the beach and stuff. It's just nice to have this little thing on one charge lasts like five days, I think. So it lasts a really, really long time. And we just wanna keep, you know, the party going and never stop and have your music in your room. One of these are really nice to have. Next thing are these wonderful little hangers. Um, it's no secret that the cruise lines sometimes don't give you enough hangers um, and you can't ask for more But it's just nice to have your own. They pull up super nicely. You can easily stuff them I put them on like the outside of my suitcase. Um, so they're just right there and it's really nice to have And then another thing is one of these blocks So what this does is it plugs in right here. It's like a normal power thing and then you have these three little like USBs. I know they're not USB-C's. This is an old one, so I'm not sure if they have a USB-C version. You honestly don't even have to get this exact one. Just do one that's cruise safe. Um, so if you're like typing like cruise safe power strip or power bank, bank or something, because even though I've heard the icon has a lot of outlets and stuff, most older cruise ships do not at all, especially for the amount of devices people bring on now. So it's just nice to have some things that can give you some more power. You can charge, you know, more devices than just the one. It's just super nice to have. And then my next thing is, I haven't had these before, but any form of like electrolytes, um, this one apparently is made even more for weekend recovery than all the other ones. And if you've seen a few of my vlogs, I definitely love to enjoy the nightlife on a cruise. Um, so it's nice to have these when the alarm comes early in the morning, get one of these in a water, drink it, and then you kind of feel a little bit better from the night before. So those are just some fun things that I put in my bag. So anyway, um, how I pack is I think of each of my cruise days in like three different sections for outfits. So first section is the daytime fit. Always for me gonna be a swimsuit, especially since I typically only cruise in like warmer clients. So I'm gonna have a swimsuit for each day and then like a cover up or like a t-shirt something on top and then I always wear typically the same pair of shoes either like my Crocs my sneakers something like that so I am very extra and I have nine swimsuits for this one because there's a couple that I don't know if they fit anymore to be honest I don't really want to try them on and ruin the mood for the cruise already so we're just going to pray and hope but I like to have colorful options some not so colorful options but yeah it's just nice to have a variety for me. I Like I said, I'm extra when I pack. And then also with those are 
my swimsuit little cover-ups. So I like to do fun, I like to do fun, nice little like button, like beachy kind of vibes, do a little mesh there, just something to throw on top. Um, I don't like to do too heavy of things because when it's like hot out and then when you get in the pool and you get like sunscreen and sweaty and then you have to put the shirt back on, I just don't want it to be like a cotton shirt or something like that. So just having that you can something easily slip on is like preferred for me, but to each their own. So then after we have that, of course we have dinner. Um, very nice. So I have some button ups. I have some formal outfits. I like to dress up a lot. I know some people don't. That's totally okay. But for me, excuse me. But for me, I do like to dress up. I think it's so fun. I treat like the promenade as my little like runway and I just absolutely love it. So I have, let's see. So I have some fun little different tops here. Um, as you can see, just like a button up and then I have like just a mock neck, which are one of my favorite t-shirts to wear like under a sports jacket or something. So it's just this little like nice neck there. I don't know if you can really see it. It's just a t-shirt so that way the ships typically run a little bit hotter. Um, so I don't like to like wear a long sleeve shirt and a sports jacket or anything on top of that. So I'll wear like a mock neck t-shirt. That way you still look really nice when people don't know that it is a t-shirt. And then um, just like to have again just like some different options. So another like button up here. I have like a gold shirt so I can do a little gold moment. You just never know. Um, and I typically will pack for two additional dinners than necessary just in case I don't like the way one looks. <laughs> if you've been on a cruise, you know, sometimes when you put on an outfit, you may not have worn it when you've been bloated before. So it looks a little bit different. And I just want to make sure I have all my bases covered. I have some backup options there and it's nice for that. And then I'm not going to spoil it all, but I do have a couple other options. So I have this fun little purple moment. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but it's this cute little like purple jumpsuit that I have as an option. Um, really like that. I have just a traditional black jacket here. Uh, I'm probably going to wear, we're doing like a black and silver night one of the nights. So I'm going to do that with like a silver sparkly shirt. And then you're not going to be able to see this one until it's on the vlog, but I have, I'll give you a little sneak peek, but it's this little gold. You can see the shimmer in there. Yep. So it's a little gold moment because we're also doing a black and gold night because we love to do theme nights, especially for the formal nights. So yeah, that's my, all my dinner outfits. Love to have those. And then just for like pants and stuff, I typically will do pants for both dinner and then my third part of the day, which is going out after, e you know, evening activities after dinner, um, typically will change probably around like nine or 10 before going back out to like either the club, a show, the bars, whatever it may be. I just like to have a little bit more fun with my outfits, but some of them might not, not necessarily be dinner appropriate. So we gotta be careful there, right? Um, but anyway, saying all that, I have all my pants right here. Oh my gosh, I have a lot. I bring a lot of pants. Um, all my different jeans here. I have some fun little like leather moment or pleather probably, a lot of jeans. I am a jeans, jeans girly. Also love the dark jeans there. So I will bring all these and I will mix and match these with my shirts for both dinner and for the club and stuff. And then for like going out outfits, I do love to have like a more fun with it. Like some of these are newer. So I'm doing like a Taylor reputation vibe with this little number here, which will be fun. And then I have, I saw on the app, they're doing a, it's a different party than the red party. They still have the red party, but it's like a revolutionize or something where you're supposed to wear all white. And then they like, somehow project things onto your clothes. So you're supposed to have a white shirt. Um, closest thing I have that's still fun is this with little sparkles. I also do have this white mock neck, but this is technically for like a dinner outfit, but we'll see. And then, yeah, just fun, colorful, uh, like to stand out just a little bit and just have fun with it. Just, you know, it's my vibe. I like to do it. I love to dress up. I love to go to the club and hang out. So that is my club. And then I guess for like a 3.5 of my outfits, um, I also bring just some 
of these shorts just to wear to bed. And that about, oh, always bring just some regular t-shirts, um, especially black ones and gray ones, just to have. I feel like they go with everything. It's easy just to throw on, especially in the morning if I don't want to get my suit on yet, but I want to go to breakfast. Um, I can just wear that and some shorts and then we're good to go. But yeah, so that is how I pack. Obviously, you know, you also need to think about, I mean, I'll go get it real quick. No way, I forgot. You of course have to have your shoes and this is where my packing kind of gets really scary. Um, I fly Southwest and so they do give those two free bags, which is why I love flying with them because I need those two free bags. Because I have currently like, six different pair of shoes and boots. Like we have like these fun boots right here. And then we have these little gold boots right here. Um, I have these big boots right here that are going to be for the uh, golden black night. So yeah, don't forget that. Um, I also like to have just a classic pair of like new white sneakers. And then I have like my dirty ones on right now that I'll just wear um, probably like the pool deck and stuff. And I'll probably throw in a pair of Crocs, but I don't know. We'll see. All my toiletries in here. Um, I mean, I'm not going to get it all out, but I mean, toothbrush, toothpaste, razor, um, Tums, Advil, gas -X, all this stuff that, you know, you never know if you're going to need it. And then we also take like Febreze, um, chargers, all like the stuff that you um, typically have, you know, when you go on vacation, I just bring it all with me um, just so, you know, you're going to be living there for seven days. So it's like your home and you want to be comfortable, but... Yeah, so I really just wanted to make this video. I've just been rambling now for like 12 minutes, but whatever. I need to actually now go and pack all this stuff before I leave. I'm leaving at 6.45 tomorrow. I'm going to Disney World first. Like I said, I'm going by myself, which I'm excited about and a little nervous. I've never been to Disney World by myself, but I have been to Disneyland a lot by myself. So it'll pretty much be the same thing. But then I will be meeting up on Friday in Miami with my mom, dad, and my sister before we set sail on Saturday. Ah, oh, I can't believe it's here. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm going to be vlogging all of the trip, showing you everything. If you've seen my vlogs before, you know that the club is like my favorite thing to do. I want to check out all the club, all the bars, see how it really is on the icon. Have heard that this one might be a full sailing, which is kind of crazy that they haven't had one yet so we'll see if it actually is we haven't got confirmation of that yet but i've just we've heard that this is the first one that they're trying to be 100 percent capacity and not be limiting it so i'll be interested to see like the vibes the clubs especially since it's spring break you just never know what you're gonna get so yeah anyway i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much for watching and make sure you stay tuned because all the fun's about to begin bye